for millions of Americans, Social Security is a lifeline. Nearly two-thirds of all seniors depend on it for most of their income. It keeps 15 million people out of poverty. And for millions of people who suffer accidents, who get sick, Social Security disability insurance is there when they need it. We must protect Social Security. And that's why we're all here, is to protect Social Security. The fight in front of us today is about the GOP's proposed cuts to the Social Security Administration's budgets. You know, as others have said, budget cuts have forced the SSA to significantly cut back on services, to close offices in recent years. Wait times has, have soared. People who need a little extra help filling out their paperwork or who hit a problem and need someone to talk them through it um, have fewer and fewer people there to be able to help them out. In Massachusetts, we've seen offices close in Chelsea, which is a city of immigrants right outside Boston. We've seen them close in Greenfield, a rural community over the border from the ranking members, home state of Vermont. Without enough funding, it becomes harder and harder for the Social Security Administration to make sure that seniors and people with disabilities receive the Social Security benefits that they are legally entitled to. You know, this country made a promise to every hardworking American. Social Security will be there when you need it. America must honor its promise, and that means no cuts to the Social Security budget. Can I have an amen on that? Yeah. So we held this press conference today because we've got a budget deadline looming. But our vision is bigger than just what we're talking about today. We must look beyond the bare minimum. We've got to stop lurching from crisis to crisis and trying to desperately keep the lights on. This is the moment to focus on our core values and to carefully choose where we want to make our investments. I believe we should invest in serving our seniors. Yes, I believe that we should invest in serving Americans with disabilities. I believe that we should invest in children who have lost their parents due to the opioid crisis and who are relying on Social Security to save their benefits and get them through school. To the advocates who are here today, I just want to say one more thing about why your voices matter so much in these fights. You know, a few years ago, the whole conversation in Congress was about whether to cut Social Security a little bit or whether to cut Social Security a lot. Do you remember that? That's all people talked about, right? That, that was kind of the range of the conversation. But then something happened. We started to speak out. People across the country started to speak out. Advocates raised this issue. And they said, we're not here to cut Social Security. We're here to expand Social Security. That's why we're here. And here's the deal. The whole conversation has now changed. So that one position is, well, let's just deal with Social Security a little bit, and the other is, how could we expand it even more? You know, the ground has shifted, and now nearly every Democrat in the United States Senate has voted in favor of expanding Social Security for our seniors. They have gone on the record to say, we will not let Social Security be dismantled inch by inch. And that is powerfully important. We are there. So when Paul Ryan starts to talk about ways to cut hard-earned Social Security benefits in order to pay for tax giveaways to giant corporations, know this. We will fight back every step of the way. That is why we are here. I want to 
underline this one more time. Social Security is not welfare. Social Security is not a gift. Social Security is a contract that we make with each other. People have paid into Social Security, and they have paid into Social Security on the understanding that the government would be a good steward of their money and that they would have protection when they need it. That's how Social Security works. And that is what we are here not just to defend, but to insist that our government be a good steward for Social Security. And that starts with what we're here for today. The government cannot be a good steward of Social Security if it does not have the money to run Social Security offices. We are here to say the Social Security Administration needs adequate support in this budget. And over the long arc, count on us. We are here to say the Social Security program must be protected, must be strengthened, and must serve those who need it most. That's why we're here. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you.